Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Medieval 2 Total War. I'll be playing Mother Russia. So yeah, Russia won the vote by 4 votes, 10 to 6 votes, so yeah. Most of the other factions had 2 votes, some of them had 1. And England and the France had 0 votes, so yeah. The popularity of those two, so obvious. So yeah, Russia, I'll be doing a long campaign, very hard, very hard difficulty. No, this is just, yeah, that's usual. Uh, and so wait, uh, I don't know. I think this is the. I don't know. I'm I'm a bit confused. So uh, this is the, this, the second and the only Orthodox faction that I will be playing in, in Vanilla Medieval Two because the only other Orthodox faction is the Byzantines. So yeah, I will run out of the Orthodox faction stamp at now. So yeah, uh, basically Russia was at this point in time divided into. Uh, the more states, so he had given Rusnov Gorod yeah, and many others that I don't even know. I think it was Moscow, one of them. But yeah, uh, so wait, what? So yeah, um, the plan is to take Sweden, uh, take this area here, Finland, Sweden, then attack Poland with all of our forces, and after that, take the. In the rest of Scandinavia take out Denmark and then eventually probably go to Hungary and after that Holy Roman Empire and Byzantine just take Constantinople and Jerusalem so yeah I think that and I honestly think it will last around uh, I would say 100 turns but I honestly don't know so our strengths are has a great mix of missile and melee cavalry that's good the weakness is poor early infantry and missile units so that is actually quite bad we will have uh, good units otherwise like the cavalry for example so Russia it starts 1080 AD so the Rus are people divided through through though <laughs> wait though that is hardly a character judgment for the folk live in the largest single kingdom in Europe. Kiev may actually be the royal capital of this kingdom and the site where the Rus immersed embraced Christianity. But it is far to the north that the true power of the realm currently lies. Position just of the eastern end of the Baltic Sea, Novgorod, is presently one of the most important trade hubs in the region, while in Kiev disputes or succession have destroyed any sense of organization or unity. With the royal court in Kiev in such disarray, it would seem that any immediate military campaigns should be launched from around the trade capital of Novgorod. In fact, the first order for Vsevolod, Grand Duke of Kiev, is to reassert his undisputed control all the way down to the capital, to the south. Should he manage this, the Rus will be free to unify all of the steps into the mightiest power of the east. Simple and obvious principle, this plan will require swift and decisive action. The fledgling, fledgling, fle oh, fledgling kingdoms of Poland and Hungary to the southwest are just as well placed to move and assume control of the Rus capital. Byzantium to the south is also desperate to restore its former glory by changing new territories, and it was only through Sevalod's marriage to the Byzantine Princess Maria that prevented the Empire from striking back at the Rus after they failed 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 in their assault of Constantinople. They will not forget that they defeated the Rus so certain this is not something that the present Rus army should forget either, unless they can start recruiting from similar population centers at once again. They will not be able to fill the force capable of stopping any of the serious foreign powers at all. So yeah, let's... yeah, I think that's all. And I think I have said all. Also, if you're new to my channel because this let's play, uh, and you will be following this let's play, then press subscribe. Why? Right? I'll be notified when a new episode comes out. Or not, I don't know. YouTube system is broken, so... So let's get into it. So I'll be quiet now. It's on the campaign map with my voice in the background. Russia faces invasion by nomadic tribes and famine conquerors. Its harsh landscape has given rise to a steadfast people. Their devotion has led them to great deeds. Survive. The 
Russians must fend off wild to become an empire. They require a leader who will steal the kingdom and make its borders impenetrable. Okay, here we are, so uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So, firstly, I'll take this guy out, hire these two units of mercenaries, three units of mercenaries, and send them towards Riga. Here, I would like to start recruiting this. You can go towards Smolensk, which should be somewhere here, or I don't know where Smolensk is, honestly. You should be, sh there should be a settlement here, yeah, Smolensk here. Then I don't know what region is here, honestly. I have no idea. Geography of Russia, so sorry for that. But I mean, who does have any? Yeah, probably just some of my Russian viewers, if I have any. Let's build a watchtower here and let's start game. So if you're Russian, then I guess this campaign is for you. A good one. And a fun one, probably. So let's get more mercenaries here. Uh, wait. Yeah, the unit size is not. So I will take this guy to here to spread Orthodox Christ oh, Christianity. So yeah, um, oh yeah, I remember now. I will start sending her towards uh, Idrach to Hungary, so she will be able to get me some tr uh, trade and yeah, map information. I'll go to Constantinople. Mm, yeah, that's basically it. What I will try to do. So what we have. 225 yeah, I think that's enough for me to complete. So yeah, you are moving towards Irgovich. I mean it should be somewhere here. And I think if you compare the rules to my mind, it's deeper. So ha. Uh yeah, let's end the turn and let's oh I should have So yeah, I forgot to raise the taxes in Novgorod. So I know there is a settlement here. It should be somewhere here. No, no. Okay, let's get you to attack here. We might get a sell out, so. Let's get you towards here. Uh, let's start moving it towards Riga. So, I have tried this before a bit. Uh, wait, I think I. It might be somewhere. I don't know. I think it's somewhere here. I don't remember. No, but Smolens here, I think. Moscow is somewhere here. Kiev is here. It is one settlement, and somewhere here is another one. And here's Kaffa. So you guys are going towards here. I might get a sally out here. So yeah, let's. Oh yeah, it's here, Vilnius. Yes, I was kind of going correctly. That's at least good to know that I correct myself. I mean, but yeah, uh, Smolensk, no, did. That was. No, I wasn't. Fuck. <laughs> okay, uh, so I think I should get us here next turn. Smolensk can hold out for four turns, but yeah, let's get you to here. Mm, let's get you to here, you can, my friend. So stay here and come to orthodoxy and yeah. Right, I won't be cheating, however, I will be using quick saves just to see the auto result. That's what I'm talking about. I was <laughs> supposed to win this battle now. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll stay on the battlefield then. So yeah, stay on the battlefield. Okay, that was it. <laughs> to arms, to arms, the prayer never gets you. Oh, 
That's all. You boring. Okay, let's start battle. Uh, you go to here. You go here. You go here also. Yeah, I know my tactics aren't the best, but hey, what you gonna do about it, mate? So yeah, Russians are coming. Stalin will be proud of me. <laughs> or for Putin and Stalin. Yes. Oh man, I know that some people may view uh, Stalin as a bad man or a good man, but I think most people view him. And it's simple. He, because of him, m thousands, thousands, millions of people died. Start firing on the enemy crossbowman. Okay, let's get you to here. Come on, fire, 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 man. My guys should get the first volley. They get it. No. Come on, come on. Yes, you barely were faster than they were. Into formation so they won't be able to outflank you. Mm, let's get you into here. Uh, come on, run! So start firing on them. I'll, f I'll put it, leave it on fast forward. Start firing on this blob here. Let's see, we killed 24% of the enemy. But I mean, those were mostly crossbowmen and peasants, so... Okay, I think... yes, we're winning. That's good. Yes, are, you are still firing on this blob here, that's good. 36% one turn for one f what? Fifth, yes. Now I'm far on this blob here. By the way, have you noticed that uh, Medieval 2, I think it runs faster on Steam than on Game Spy. Mm-hmm. Come on. Are you... Yes, okay, it was the enemy, that's... Let's get you to here. And start firing now again. Come on, man, you can do it. No. Okay, let me get... Okay, so the most dangerous I think will be the Woodsman. So I hope these guys will come back out of routing. They are taking out these guys. That's good. And these guys will break on... When they come out, I suppose. I can go probably a bit forward as well, so... Okay, let's start firing on them. I mean, if you miss this, then I don't know. Then you shouldn't go into MLG. I guess you can hear them loading the missiles. actually killed quite a good number of them. Okay, let's start firing on them. 
These guys aren't coming back out of routing that shit. Hmm. Yes, they have almost promotion peasants left. I mean, we have quite ammo still, so. Farm these guys because they're more dangerous than peasants. <laughs> you can hear some dogs barking. Okay. Oh, come on. So, I mean, we lost... Around 50% of our army, but those are mostly spearmen. So the thing that I absolutely love about Medieval is that I can expand faster compared to, let's say, Attila. So yeah, I think we, it's pretty obvious that we won. So let's get you to here. And the final volley, maybe. Nope, not the final one yet, but yeah, see you back on the campaign map. Clear nice. Okay, here we are, we got... Now we occupy... How oh, many suck? I can't trend, but yeah, let's build the palisade. Economy is a bit better now. Let's... Sending these guys towards Riga, because we'll need every single man possible to fight the... Polish armies. This will be next turn. Put the family tree. Prince Vladimir. <laughs> okay, Prince Vladimir. Mm. So next turn we take Helsinki. Mm. Fuck. Wait, what the... Okay, it'll be in a small minus, but... So I can't send that one, be so yeah, we'll take small lands and heals in case we should be okay. So yeah, let's end the turn and let's see what will happen. Mm. Let's go back to Riga. Under the taxes, we're in minus five. <laughs> okay, let me just quick save. Clear victory, nice. Mm, sack it. Mm, let's leave these guys behind. Let's get them moving towards Vilnius. And actually, let's get them moving towards here because I know there's a settlement somewhere here. And I will start. Hmm. Okay, let me quick save. I can't get it. Okay, wait, uh, this guy has nothing, so this guy should- Oh, for fuck's sake! You gotta be fucking... Let's start this. Let's start getting this part. Yeah, let's end the turn. Oh, come on! Just... Yes, it appears that this guy didn't attack it. Real news. So that's all I wanted to do. Let's end the turn now. And let's see what will happen. Hmm. Okay, let's... Okay, can... We're going towards here. Oh, uh, let's give you... Hmm. No. Hmm, quick save. Clear defeat, then I'll just wait for one more turn. Because next turn they'll just sell you out, so it will be okay. Because they'll have to sell you out, so 
This will make my guys win. To the here, uh, let's uh, merge you. So let's leave behind these guys and let's get you towards Vilnius. Mm hmm. No. No. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on, how could 140 people die in Europe? It, was this... Oh come on, that was our priest. Ah, for fuck's sake, let's end the turn and let's see what will happen. I should be able to end it easily. They're all okay, that's... Okay, I guess. Occupy and let's merge. Mm, not gonna get any Just mm, oh, he can't beat that. Mm, let's leave these guys behind just in case. So we should be able to get it next turn, uh, Vilnius that is. And yeah, you can't, our economy is getting up a bit. Finally. Uh, let's see, I should... No, it the most... No, not worth it. Mm. And if I would build this then... By 30. Mm-hmm. Let's see if I upgrade this a little... 15 minutes a bit better, but... I'll get the most from roads. Hmm... If I would build this... Yeah, I will build the roads because they're the most... They're the best, <laughs> the best thing to build right now. This is Malinx is quite orthodox. Now let's get these two guys and we'll try conquering Moscow with them. Mm, actually, I'll get these guys and get them moving towards Moscow. Which should be somewhere here. Now I'll, get, I'll look into the map a bit after I finish this episode. So, yeah, let's... And, <laughs> okay, the game uh, crashed. That was... I don't know. It's kind of weird that the game randomly crashes sometimes. Mm, let's see, they have one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Let me just... I'm just interested to what would happen if I would... Call it if it's okay. Come on, let's... Let's end the turn and let's see what will happen. Again, let's end the turn actually. Okay, this is what it's Stockholm. Hmm. Retreat. We'll go to boats. And here, let's see. Mm, you should be able to win this. Hmm. Well, I can uh, should draw a nice. Mm -hmm. Occupy. The Take rebels to into our Stockholm, okay. Hmm. <laughs> should be able to win that battle there. Uh, let's. Smurge this guy, leave these guys and these, these guys behind. It's nice to here, build a watchtower and start going to towards Krakow. Okay, now let's take these two guys out and there should be what just say. Yeah, I don't know, I think there's that Moscow is somewhere here. Mm, 
not working. Minus put the quarter. Let's see. Uh, Stockholm. Just quick save because I think it will be. Uh, quite a. Yep. Yeah, I'll have to fight another battle. So yeah. Okay. I this I think this should be yeah it is. Okay. You guys go here. Well the majority of my army go there while well, these two guys these two guys will go from here. Well the Vladimir will go around them. Now let's get... Okay, let's... No, you guys go. That, I think I might have pressed backspace. Hmm, no. Mm, I want you to fire on somewhere here because there's the highest chance of you hitting over here. So, Russians are... Get as much land as possible. Yeah. Right. Duh. So, yeah, uh, let's... Let's see if I can get this move working. You can now start firing, maybe? Maybe, just maybe. I'm not sure if you want to fire, but yeah, just maybe. Start firing on. I mean, if you miss this, then I know you're. Then you're fucking natural born killers. Come on, come on, no, 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 don't. Start firing on them. Come on, come on. Come on, push forward. Actually help these guys here, you guys. Come on. So I think you have enough men to send them forward to fight Poland. My lord, our men are in command of the city. At least I hope we do have enough men. Yes, yeah, see back on the campaign map. Also, this is the result. We clearly won. <laughs> So yeah, here we are, and we'll occupy. Let's see, I can leave. No, I must leave some other guys. So I'll build a castle here, but once I sort out... Wait, can I... So yeah, I will get these guys to here, and you will be going for... I know there is a settlement here somewhere, so these guys will come and help them, these guys will come from here, so... Just... Hmm. 
Mm, let's actually get these guys back to Vilnius, so they at least have... Less for that, a bit of a chance of survival, but... You see, uh, my opponent isn't allied to Hungary, so that's another good thing. So, yeah, it's turn 7, we are sitting on 6 regions, still on castles. Uh, one of them is the city, battles lost one, how... Where? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Uh, I don't know, this might be a glitch. No. I honestly don't know what the fuck's that. So, yeah, uh, just a second. So, yeah, I'll end the episode here. It has been quite an interesting one. I mean, we were able to expand the Russia a bit, quite a lot actually, into Scandinavia. And yeah, we will be expanding it into Poland, and Denmark, and the rest of Scandinavia. And basically, I'll try creating this Middle Eastern Europe. Be an empire in here, like in this area somewhere. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Firstly, if the Moscow offensive will be successful. So, yeah, uh, I'll end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, like. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And, yeah, uh, follow me on Twitter, join my Steam group. Links to both are in the description below. However, the link to my Steam group does not work uh, because. Uh, YouTube, basically. So, yeah. Uh, until next time. Wait, this King of Pergamon out. Also, this guy died.